Hey, what's going on? My name is Billy Busby, and today we are going to be doing a test video with the Sony A7S III. And I know, I know, I know, you probably have seen every damn possible A7S III test video known to man at this point, but hopefully you'll get something out of it. It's one thing to shoot video with your camera, take it home, look at it on a computer and go, oh man, it looks great. Almost every camera I have ever used looks fantastic when I look at it on like the raw files and the clips on the computer. Oh, it's great. But it's not until you go through that process of shooting the video, importing the video, putting it on an editing timeline, exporting it, uploading it to YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, wherever it's gonna live at, do you get that experience of the whole thing and i think it's an issue with this entire generation right now where they have so much knowledge available to their fingertips but they don't have that experience to go with it right and it's not until you apply that experience do you gain like wisdom and i hope that makes sense it's just something that you cannot gain from reading about it or watching somebody else do it you have to go through it it's, it's an experience this is my new sony a7s3 and I plan for it to be my main workhorse camera for the foreseeable future. But in order to find out how well it performed and how well I performed with it, I took it out for the last couple of weeks and put it through every test I could think of that presented itself to me. I filmed a you know, all-female bicycle drag race under I-35 with these weird sodium lights. I took it out to the woods on a wet, rainy day. I filmed some stuff again down at the Pearl Brewery. And then I also filmed over here at the skate park. There's a guy out there doing some crazy BMX stuff. And yeah, it was just, I tried to test it as much as I could. Let's see how I did. I wanted to come out here and film specifically in these conditions because when I was doing the test with the action cameras, I came here and man, that footage was terrible. So if this camera can hold up here, it'll give me some, it'll close some loop in my head that this is a much better camera, even though I know it is. All that ribbon so when they come out here and get some clips of it it got darker but i don't know so far the bottom hasn't fell out yet so it's super dark right now around here Hey, happy Halloween, orange and black, right? So this would not be a good test video, test footage thing if I didn't include some vertical video. How is the Sony A7S III <laughs> in vertical mode? It just feels so funny using this camera like that. But I don't know, man. I've been seeing a lot of really good vertical videos, man. People are using this space wisely right now. It's catching on to me. Maybe vertical videos on the A7S III should be filmed like this, right? What if it's uh, what if it's like that? Is that better? I don't think it is. Thought I saw Bella Porch using a Sony A7S III and one of her TikToks. I could be wrong. I'd love to have you on a tripod, but mine's broke. can't think of a more challenging environment with the noise and the uh, sodium lights and everything so 
All right, so I'm sure you've seen every type of A7S III test video possible, but you probably have not seen one that features a Cannibal Bike Crew San Antonio Babes on Bikes bike to drag race. I uh, white balance directly on that light. Here's what it looked like before. You're still entering in some raffle, and you might win some cool shit. <laughs> How you doing? And here's what it looks like now. So that seemed to work. But look at what white balancing on those lights did to the sky back here. That's crazy, man. Yeah, it came up like some kind of weird white balance too, like negative 2,500 or something. It's super weird. Walking vlog test. It's on the Tamron, so I'm like crazy cropped in right now. Not not on a gimbal, on a tripod. Active stabilization is on. I'm almost out of beer, so probably a good thing since I gotta drive. Alright, how's this low light? It's pretty dark over here. Audio should be a little bit better. Sorry. Tonight we celebrated the two year anniversary with the Babes on Bikes here in San Antonio, Texas. We did an event with them maybe, I wanna say a year ago, Battle of the Babes. Um, so far we had a good turnout. The zombies showed up, Chivos, ourselves, the cannibals. We All right, that's a wrap from the San Antonio Babes on Bikes second annual drag race under I-35. Hopefully the noise wasn't too bad. Do you upload test footage when you get a new camera? Let's talk about it. I try to always put my camera through some kind of specific shoot to kind of test them out, a bicycle race or a family event or whatever, something specific that I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna use that camera primarily so I can test it. I did it with that DJI Action 3, I did it with the Hero 11, I did it way back when, when I first got my uh, DJI Pocket 2. Anyway, that whole process got me wondering why I don't do it with my main cameras. Is it because like I'm trusting them to be of a certain quality. Since this is my new main camera, man, I really want to know this camera. I can watch all of the videos in the world and all of the other people's thoughts and reviews and stuff like that on it, but until I get my hands on that camera, I get the feel, I remember the shooting conditions, I take it into the editor and I see what that footage does. Like I don't feel like I know that camera. And I hope that makes sense to any experienced shooters out there. Today we are doing our annual pick. So this is our annual club picture. We obviously have a few folks that are out of town, not available to be here, but we are gathering because the season's coming to an end. We all got on our, our gold and, and gray. So we're out here trying to capture our end of the year shot before it gets too cold here in San Antonio. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> do more vlogging tests down here but my tripod broke while I was over there filming that thing for uh, Major Taylor uh, I think I could fix it but I couldn't fix it here I tried but I wanted to do some more vlogging tests and just kind of see how the camera does with uh, exposure and stuff like that because right there I look like stupid dark we are going to try that again because I'm not a fan of how that auto exposure dead right there because it completely lost me when I got over into the shade see like right there it's completely dark try one more time I took the ND filter off completely let's see what it does now so harsh background and then is it going to expose properly when I get into the shade it looks like it's still pretty dark and it's not until I move the camera over here does it do right yeah now here these guys uh let me come out here and film them and the uh, tripod finally completely broke. So I'm having to do everything handheld. Completely broke and then it's all sticky. And I think it's this guy right here. I need to put that screw back in there to kind of keep it in place. watched this video by this guy named Blake Davis and that was kind of what pushed me to end up like pulling the trigger on this camera yes I wanted the camera yes I was gonna buy the camera but it had not been urgent number one you couldn't find it anywhere and then number two was like all right I already had a pretty decent camera with my a7 III so I watched his video and man he talks about like the experience of it it's not necessarily a review I'll link it and everything but it wasn't necessarily a review and he was talking about how he got all these new gigs and stuff with the camera and that's hey man good for him what got me was the fact that he talked about being able to record his family's like intimate moments you know with something of this higher quality and it really got me thinking because i'm about to be a grandfather really soon and i really want to be able to capture that i mean this is prosumer quality nowadays and it's so high right the quality is so much better this is a better camera than they used to film probably the matrix and the in the original prequel trilogy so now this is considered prosumer i mean this would have been so far ahead of its time even in cinema you know 15 20 years ago so now you have that capability relatively cheap and you can take it and you can film and capture these family moments basically in cinema quality so man that really motivated me 
I didn't capture, you know, anything really when my kids were younger. It was such a chaotic time. But now that I'm a grand or going to be a grandfather really soon, you know, I'll be able to capture some of those moments so that in, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, they'll be able to look back at this and go, oh, cool, look at that, man. You know, here's what grandpa looked like in 2022 and pretty good detail. Who knows what they're going to be using by then. But the point was, is like now a prosumer quality camera is of such high quality, especially at this price point, that it's unbelievable. You know, to long-term filmmakers, it's unbelievable. So... Anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I hope you got something out of this video.